The Good Shepherd David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now, that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life. But God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts, if they'd been invented then. David's songs were like prayers. They're called psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherds. And it goes like this. God is my shepherd, and I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He guides me. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass, in a meadow, by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid, because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will go too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them, or would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. On one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people, once and for all, just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He'd be called the Good Shepherd, and this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they'd always belonged, close to God's heart.